I'm with it. I don't know. Am I getting tunnel vision? I I'm going to no. double down on that one yeah, because they you, made it so much easier to actually use her mechanics-wise. They removed the reset mechanic with the blooms, yep. but they made the cooldown just so ridiculously low. And there's no rush. Again, they're all, there's already a mid laner for Milan Evos, so instead they secure their XP laner first, given that the Arlo might actually still be an XP laner too. Yep. So they're uh, kind of respecting the flex here. Yeah, a lot of flexibility because now with the Terizla shown up, Minana Evos, I feel like they have to match the clear speed of one Terizla. And the picks of TNC tell me they don't want anyone who can easily break formations. If ever that Arlon is going to go into the roam, I'd want to see Minana Evos pick up something in the EXP lane like a Yuzhong, Lapu, who can quickly break formations and dive into the back line. Yeah, it's funny. It looks almost like a Phalanx kind of thing that they're trying to go here with TNC, yeah. right? Because they're going to hold steady. They're going to hold that front line strong and let that carry oh. do his thing from the back. Oh, right. I hate how we kept on <laughs> chewing it in that, hey, Miles might pick up a new hero. Miles might pick up a new hero. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. The heart of Minana Evos. Here we go. Mabuhay Miles coming at you. It's the Rafaela. And that is honestly a good looking lineup. Uh, I'm not surprised that it is the Rafaela and then Clint. Again, backline heavy mm -hmm. for Minana Evos. TNC. And that's exactly what you want against a lineup that is, again, slow front to back. Yeah. Right? You want to burst them down, get rid of the peel, or even maybe get a pot shot at the back line if you find it free. Yeah. Uh, maybe shock the Lilia, because the Lilia still looks good now. You put a Durance on that. It's perfect. And you oh, make the opponents regret uh, picking up uh, sustain. What was that? I don't recognize. Oh! 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 That real? That is. That I mean, real? It's, it's not too far from the apple doesn't fall, fall far from the tree. Yep. Like this is very J Lord. Very this is J -Lord. very hatred. And I'm wondering what words Coach Imba DJ is muttering to Coach Bitoy. I'm loving it. I, I, I honestly am loving it. They did not overthink. You were mentioning over and over that they were very backline heavy. You know what? Let's go into the backline. Yep. I did not expect this, but I am pleasantly surprised. The reason why I think there's a part of you that doesn't sit well with it. Again, now in hindsight, I am also thinking twice. Their wave clear is, yeah. is dog water. Yeah. As Gideon would say, it's dog water. That's a great way to put it. When you're defending your inhibitor and you're up against the ropes, you're... You're, <laughs> you're gonna have to yeah. throw everything but the kitchen sink just to clear. That's true. Yeah, you, yeah. you wanna say not very good words. It's very difficult. <laughs> yeah. It's hard, that's what it is. Just like it life is. in general. <laughs> but Oof. yeah, this TNC Pro Team lineup, if this works, it is spicy. If it doesn't, then, well, I think we have a lot to think and talk about in terms of why that happened. Folks, <laughs> it's been quite some time. Welcome to the Land of Dawn. Welcome to MPL Philippines Season 13, where in the first game, we see a cushion in the mid lane. Oh, this is going to be fun times. And it's it's kind of uncanny because we mentioned this already. They're gonna try they're gonna try everything yep. here in game number one in the first day, right off the bat. Just you know nothing to lose here for TNC. What's a harm in trying? I like it what they're doing though. Again, they know that uh, the Gushin, as soon as he finds that combo early on, wins. But little wonder battle going over to Minani. What's about the uh, emblems? Again, this Gushin is rocking. Uh, uh, penetration, yep. uh, well, the, the blessing. River Wilderness yeah. Blessing, yeah, and uh, the lethal, lethal ignition. ignition. So, yeah, no, he definitely wants to win that matchup. Wants to get one sword spike in and then make Lancey regret, make Lancey wish it was 10 minutes later. Wants yeah. to move really quickly and then get those spikes in and get out. Yeah, and when you think about it, this channels back to the history of hatred, really, as starting off as a jungler for execration, eventually becoming a mid laner. Now he's flexing what he brings to the table for TNC. If you want me to be more of a backline mage, I can do that. I've got into the World Championship Grand Finals as that, but I can also play assassins, play aggressive. Ooh, guns are blazing here for Domeng. Do you see that? How smooth these auto attacks are really sinking their teeth in. And Nomad gonna be uh, just absorbing some damage here. And I think, yeah, the bottom lane fight is gonna happen later on. Let's have a look at the turret layer. All right, it spawns two minutes in. Something to note, gentlemen, on a, mm, you know, piece for piece, lane for lane, mm -hmm. TNC is not gonna win. They need to make these two and three man ganks work yeah. and then go from there. Pick off 
and then next. They, they cannot just take objectives the way Minana Evos can. Like this, look at this now. They got vision on three. Yeah, they got full oh. vision and a good strike in from Kirk. Dives in the oh. lore here. Hatred of the first kill of MPL Philippines Season 13 and the turtle to boot. They're going strong, they're going heavy, and Kirk can't take it. Oh, they thread the needle. They find that inch that makes the difference. I was saying pick off and then the turn and then the objective. TNT did exactly just that. That's how you start off the season. The first turtle, the first big fight of season 13. Hatred gets a double kill. The man that we painted as one of the new hopes of TNT. And I would like to call what TNT is doing now the TBS, the throw body strat. Because that literally was just them throwing bodies at Nana Evos. And what yeah. makes it so lethal is as you throw bodies, there's that little needle in the haystack. Oh, ow, ow. Ow. It's enough to incapacitate one, and then you go from there. You win by numbers, and that's exactly what they did. Their life bars were just but under a half compared to Minana Evos. And again, you had the holy healing yeah. to boot. But when you pick off one already immediately, the numbers go up against you, and the numbers don't lie. Yeah, that's TNC knowing exactly where Minana hurts. Their front line is something that you can kind of just bypass. And once you go through exactly. that initial final uh, slash, it's pretty, it looks pretty good for them. Uh oh. Nope. Bottom lane. He's in. Trying to see if he can get some hits on the Yasuo. Nomad there yep. for the uh, backup as well. Yep. Domain, just try you know what? He's trying to capitalize as much on his range, but he's not getting as many hits as he can. Yeah, and I think at some point now, Minana Evos are going to decide whether or not they're going to commit for turtles or really just do everything they can to make sure Domain can get to scale fast. By the way, this is the 1,874th Whoa. game of MPLPH. Oh, thank you for victory. Thank you for that. That's a lot of victories, screens. And also L's. And, and again, else. that's how you learn, right? That's how yeah. you grow. And that's how TNC has got here. Th th they know that they were going to face down an L if they don't try something new. And here, they're throwing bodies, looking for pickoffs, 3-0 to zero already. Wow. Going for Grand Theft Purple. I think Ryzen's threatening to steal. Uh, he's trying to force Kazen to use the retry. Kazen does not budge. As we set up for the turtle, this is what is expected of lineups that have tankier, jungler, and roamers compared to the other team. They will invade. They will set the tempo like this. So again, the question is, when will Minana Evos commit to helping Doming instead? Because they're clearly going to lose the major objective battle, uh, major objective battles, Rockheart. Yeah, that's right. They got great ways to uh, get some vision oh. in, but there's not much they can do about it right now. Ryzen, he's doing something about it. It's Spider Miles. Gonna be put up very low. Domeng stuck under the turret here. Not really much he can do when Yasuo close by. They might just try to go for the turret. I appreciate this rotation from TNC. This allows for them to buy space for Yasuo. And oh wait, oh, 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 beautiful fight here. Heads could go down, and I no think way. he will. Kirk making it up so hard what? though. What was that? That's the BOS, man. That's the BOS. The body, body of Smith, Smith keeping heads alive. Plus the built-in spell vamp from his custom emblem, the fighter emblem. And that's it. He was just swinging around. I love how it just perfectly landed. The, yeah. the penalty zone. Like, all right, I just need this much life, and then we go. Oh, my goodness. Heads, the former XP laner of Euphoria Esports in the MDL in the Philippines, a champion in his own right, in another major international tournament for amateur teams. As we look at the items, anything standing out? Uh, what's standing out to me is the fact that he did that while still having enough money to buy that casual Whew. Fury Hammer. He had enough money to build uh, CC prevention boots, yep. uh, tough, boots, tough boots, and then the dominance ice. I mean, maybe the ice was built after that, but still, this is an economical oh. advantage TNC is playing with. Did he steal? Yeah, he did. Grand Theft Purple! Oh, 4K the boot as well on the gold. That is just looking stonks all over for TNC. Plus, they're also camping up close onto these uh, bushes. <laughs> Feels so easy for them to take these objectives right now if they try to go for a contest on the turtle. They could hurt on top. Uh, if you love the history of our great league here, seeing Hatred bring up an It's Onyx Time sticker, feels good to see him back. Doesn't feel good for Minana Evos though. As TNC, it looks like they're going to be able to get this third turtle without a problem unless Minana Evos have a death wish because it's way too risky. Yeah, yep. They're building up the pressure. Oh! oh no! I spoke too soon! I spoke too soon! Okay, Lancey, you shut me up! All right. All right. That was as good as it gets I here as well. I totally forgot my train of thought. Lancey just from out of nowhere. That was insane. That's a precise kill is what they call it in the business. 
And oh, watch yeah. It's a precise kill. <laughs> yeah. If only there was a, a precise kill notification for Eternal, right? Yeah, that would have, that's oh. beautiful. Yeah, precise kill on Eternal. Lancey just gave me the look and nod of approval. Reptar, you can talk now after doubting me. Sorry, Lancey, but let's see how much did that do for Minana Evo's ability to come back here because TNC is still in control, Rockheart. Yeah, they're not done yet. That's what Minana Evo is trying to do here. And now, obviously, they will still keep that turret. And, and the next Lord is very far away. All, All right. right. About eight minutes in, I think Minana Evos has an overload on vision. Yes. Uh, we're looking at a lineup that definitely knows what's coming up, but with very little anything to do when it does come up, especially with the lineup that TNC has been able to draft. Yes. And the one glaring weakness at TNC that we pointed out uh, was their wave clear or their map control. Again, you're seeing that in top lane. They were, they were uh, taken down tier one, but that's about it. They'll not have to worry about it up until maybe Minana Evos is able to stabilize. Um, I'm giving Minana Evos until maybe the 11th minute mark. If yeah. they don't fix anything, or if, if at least they're alive up to that second Lord, then maybe, just maybe, they can come out of this and come back. Yeah, that's essentially all they have to do, man. As long as Doming's alive down there, or right now, in this case, in the middle, they're fine. As long as he's flashing those stickers, they should feel oh. good. But right now, will they feel good once T Hatred gets into these positions where he can make an assassination happen, which has not happened in the past few minutes. Yeah, TNC Pro Team still in control, and again, I, I thought going into this they'd be the underdogs, but they're proving everyone wrong here, playing very well together. The Filipino amateur scene gold laner is doing a tremendous job as a roamer. The rotations, the timings, how he's going around with hatred and the other members of TNC Pro Team, he looks like a natural. Two factors, number one, as a gold laner, you know where you need to be protected from. Oh, you know yeah. The angles, yeah. You know uh, the weaknesses, the Achilles heels of such softies like a carry. And number two, hatred is amazing on comms. Oh, That's just that. what it is. It's working. It's working. Look at that Lord. He's going down. It's melted down real quickly here. KZN. KZN's here and heads. He's going to activate the penalty zone quite early and a miss on the Minoan Fury as well. Yasuo, he is oh. making it work. Oh. Beautiful fine slash, but no one to follow up here. Kirk. What were you thinking? Hatred goes down, and Lord will help with that. Spider Miles just have to watch as TNC battle down on the Lord. But look at that. TNC Pro Team. Hatred found the angle to go into the back to stop Minana Evos from potentially finding a turnaround, and they get the Lord as Domeng was just saying, I'm just going to push down mid instead. And Again, Doming was making the right call. Yes. Uh, taking out these objectives, these standing objectives on the map to help close that economic gap is what you should do as a gold laner that's been behind the whole game. And again, a little bit of silver lining, he hasn't died. But looking at what TNC did there, a uh, quick recap. Three for one was the eventual trade, and then Hatred died. I'd say as soon as he went down, after yep. Spider-Man shut him down, he said worth it. And that definitely was worth it. A Lord for a few kills and a mid lane is more than worth it, given that they got the Lord, they, they got map control, and they're all still here again. Hatred can definitely afford it. Looking at the item builds here, uh, he is, uh, again, playing very well in mid. He's fourth on the economy. Yeah, Hatred. Feeling really gooshy right now with how he's playing that Gushin. TNC Pro Team, can they make something out of this? Ryzen goes in. All right, and he jumped in. Oh. He's found Final Slash. He's going to go down without doing anything. Good no man that. going in hard. Hatred as well. Looked for the target. Kirk oh. is going to be the one to choose. Kazen will fall, though. Yasuo is still pretty much a split spinning slashing uh -oh. machine here. No man is going to have to run for it. Bang! Just like that. The first few times in this game that Minani was actually punished TNC. Started off number one with the misplacement on Ryzen. Yeah, Abash is chunky. Abash is hard, but not that hard. Not that Plus, hard. Again, showing you how this slow and steady lineup that TNC has, wherein you can only really put the carry in such a position. Yeah shows its cracks. Because after spending so much time with that turret by taking down the inhibitor, eventually Minana Evos was able to put enough damage to get that three for one. Here, you see here. TNC Pro Team cannot commit like this. I get what they were doing. They wanted to do it for the turret, but a little bit too risky for my own taste here. So we take a quick little pause. We finally take a quick little breather for all the action that we've seen. All right. Just to revisit everything that's happened, TNC took control majority of the game. 
But a factor here that I believe now we have to acknowledge is Leo, Minana Evos with items. Ooh. Better scaling compared to the TNC? Yep, uh, is this not where we were uh, earlier? I said 12 minutes. Yeah. All right. TNC has to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, and Hatred, he's going to have to really struggle to stay con consistently relevant here yep. all throughout this game because uh, everyone who's played Gushin knows it's going to be a fall off if we get to that point where we feel like we're even. That's right. And folks, uh, just as a quick uh, jog of your memory, Yes, you did see right in the uh, original game overlay. Yes, the gold lead has shrank. It's now down to just about 4K. Hader Miles, can he be the orchestrator of that good re-engage, the counter against the Minoan Fury of the gold laner turned roamer in Nomad? Yep. Oh, look at this. Ryzen actually caught Lancey in a pretty bad spot here with Yasuo doing some work on that turret. That will mean TNC is going to have more freedom as to where they will go next. All right, so um, I'm glad to see that maybe even Lancey can pull off the reverse collapse. I'd like to see an item build on that in just a bit because it's not easy to actually fend off of Rabbit Baksha like he did that. I mean, om almost single-handedly, uh, spider Mouse did kind of help, but the fact that Lancey isn't dead with the help of uh, the Astral Recall for sure uh, means that they have now more than two ways, maybe they have three ways to go for the reverse collapse to bait out ults from TNC. Okay. Big Lord fight here. Could determine who will control or maybe even potentially win the game. Nana Evo's trying to find that good positioning. Gotta watch out for Lancey. He was Ooh. able to steal Turtle earlier. It's down to almost 40% here, Rockheart. I love this. I love Hatred's positioning right now. Looking for a key target. Obviously, he's gonna be maybe Doming, but he's oh. gonna be fine with Kirk, maybe, or Spider Miles. Hatred still not pulling the trigger here. Lord hey! Spider, very low. And there you go. Pets go straight in. They take out the jungler, and that should be good for everything here for TNC. Amazing! Christian Morada Woo! heads coming in with the flicker penalty zone to shock Minana Evos. Again, they were setting up the reverse collapse, but you ain't gonna reverse collapse if you're all knocked up. Heads telling Minana Evos, can you dig it with the five man, five man, five man, five man, five man oh. penalty zone. Over and over again so far. It looks like he can do no wrong. Feels what a way so good. to make a debut in MPL Philippines here, Arkhart. Oh, look at this. Ooh. Ah, that was so good. That I was mean, a four man. Technically but, four man. It was, it was but four. Kazen was already in too deep. Yeah. If, if only he had his way. So, again, amazing work from TNC. And did you see that? They, they were set up in this small Cyclone Eye corridor. Oof. What did we say earlier? The Battle of Thermopolis! Oh, there it is. Pinch them in the tight spot where it hurts. Oh, predicted literally. perfectly, but now can TNC end the game here? Yeah, that's going to be a big question here. Obviously not going to be enough. Is this Lord? It's pretty early on and these Lords are quite fragile here, oh, but it maybe in. depends on who White splits. Uh, slip up here. Oh, oh, Kirk. In. oh Kirk. beautiful! Yes, oh. That's all they need to do. Nomad's down. He's going to use the flicker, but he will still fall. What did we say about the punish in mid being worse, gentlemen? Earlier it was a three for one. Sure, you got something from Minan Evos. Now it's a two for none. 15 Min minutes in. <laughs> Minan Evos. Never really tell. The two EXP laners. Earlier it was heads. Now it was Kirk telling the members of TNC, I'm going to beam you up back to your base. And now Minan Evos have pushed forward in the best looking position they've been all game so far. This is the furthest Minan Evos has gone through the map in all yeah. 16 minutes all of game, game one. Long. Yeah. I bet the moment they crossed the river, they was like, oh, this is what it feels like here. Oh, look, it's greener here. It's yeah. kind of greener here. That, was, that was there this whole time, all right. Check out <laughs> yeah. the items here. Uh, all right, so again, it was all off of the Astral uh, Recall and the heals because Lancey's playing with all firepower. He just needs one more core item, and I'm guessing uh, that could be a Holy Crystal. That could be a uh, Dorant if he's had enough of heads and uh, the region. Nomad, yeah. yeah. Uh, but looking at Doming as well, also just short of one more. Uh, guessing this might be a <laughs> DHS. Look at all the HPs playing off of TNC. Uh, this is going to be so good, and we'll definitely see what this un almost uh, uncapped attack speed looks like on some of these marksmen. And maybe we'll see who actually deserves that spotlight in the marksman role. Interestingly enough, none of that matters for Minana Evos, at least this lineup they have. Oh yeah, with this one. Yeah, this so again, they're playing off meta. They're not 
using what changed in the game, and they're again, they're playing with what they know, what works. Yeah. And I'm not gonna knock it. It's a safe way to approach a new season, a uh, new way to play the game, just reinventing or refining rather what you already know. And so far, it's working out well for them because they're up against a team who still maybe have some kinks in their communication oh, yeah. when it comes oh. to aggression. Let's yeah. see. Dying out. <laughs> Rising and, got the info. And you know what they know? As long as Dolming doesn't die, they're good. Yeah. That's what they know. <laughs> and he was, I, we mentioned earlier the backliners need protection, but the backliners are doing a great job protecting themselves. Making themselves unavailable. Look at the damage of Doming onto Ryzen. No, 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 Evos look good when it comes to taking this Lord. I would say we're almost there. Obviously, this Lord waiting patiently here. He's waiting. He's ticking down the clock. Waiting for something to happen. All right, let's get the orange onto Doming here. Kazen picking up an immortality. So uh, those uh, four man, five man, big uh, ticket FPZs uh, aren't going to be as lethal, not going to be as part of a punish. Hatred taking that Y bush. So definitely, I think they're playing off of the Hatreds combo. Yeah. Crit Ray Ash. Hatreds, because it's two main uh, engagers that definitely can kill. If it's a PZ, then yes. If it's a full combo from Hatred, that's a free pick off. So as long as Minana Evos knows where either are coming from, they should be fine. Okay. They got some information where the Clint was. So now TNC are going to rush this Lord. Can they get it? The time rock card. Yeah, Hatred still has not shown his face on the map. And Minana are wondering, where is this guy right now? Yeah, I agree with you. It feels like they're looking for the cushion right now. They're really uh. biding their time. They want to know where the other members of TNC oh, are. It's on half, though. One specific one. And they might be running out of time here. Someone and needs to pull the trigger. They got Sue, and Heads oh. is waiting. He is itching for it. Same with Nomad, but Kirk, will he be the one Big to echo. throw out that final slash? They still don't know where Hatred is. Still yeah. no info. Lord gets reset. Oh, boy. And I think hey, Lancey has no choice but to split up. Yeah, they need to clear it. And now they know they have the advantage. Hatred in range. Yep. Is he actually going to go for it? Are Minana Evos thinking oh. that Hatred go back to Malaysia or Cambodia or something? Oh. <laughs> That's going to be a quick question here. And beautiful with oh. Fury knocks up Kaze, and that might be oh. Immortality going down. HP is going to go back, though. No man's oh. quite low. Hey, and look at that! Hatred found that target. Let's he goes down. Oh, but they live. Minana Evos. Oh. They're going. Oh. Domic's not dying. not dying. Domic's not dying. Here we go. They're still going. No They're man's oh. doing it. They're doing it. Domic went insane. Raise your right hand to your chest. Welcome back to the members of Doming Nation. Oh. They will have the wave clear, but it was the Clint, and they couldn't find it. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I think this is it. This is it. Spider-Man says oh. it's unendable, or at least they need to go for the penetration. It's what? At least 15 seconds until another member of TNC comes onto the map. Are they going to get it? Oh, I think they're good. I think Yaswo. they're good. Oh, they're good. Oh, that they're was good. Bro. All right. So crucial that Doming didn't die. <laughs> yeah, Sheriff Doming to you. <laughs> Sheriff Doming. Well, apologies, Your Honor. But, but man, oh man, because of that and to boot, TNC could not get that Lord properly as well. Oh. Yeah, and you saw there, Hatred was definitely trying to find the Clint, but he had another member on him, so Hatred quickly just thought, I'm just going to go for Lancey instead and try to see yeah. who else I can get. Whoa! Oh man, that's a very early final slash though. Ryzen, I mean, he's gonna be put on quite low. He can't die or else the Rectory's gonna go. But Kazan, he's gonna re-engage here. Heads, Yasuo Astri popping up already. The Wind of Nature, that might be huge. And that will be the disengage. Amazing tranche ooh, juggle ooh. onto Kazan as well. Gotta give kudos where they matter. The young jungler from Inanna Evos had his immortality timed out. Just recently came from a respawn. He said, you know what? Fast hands, win a tranche. Pretty brave. Pretty brave. Love that. And because of that, they can still dance. Dance just keeps on going. They got the healing from Spider Miles to keep it coming. And it looks like TNC is just not in position to contest here. No man's close by. Ryzen taken quite low. With heads. He's he's got the flicker and he wants to use it. Uh, yeah, so a bit too far also. What does hope look like for these two teams and who's gonna get it? Or slow here, Nomad, close by as well. Oh! Yes, on the back. Ryza really? takes that. And of course the fight is gonna be a big question here. Everyone's on the party oh, right here. It. And for Mobilis, and Nomad's gonna fall. Nothing else to do here but to run for the rest of TNC. Two for one so far. They gotta run. Minata they gotta go. Coming out on top. Yasuo down to a half health. Ryzen running away. Oh, he got oh! stopped. 
That's going to be a big problem here. How is he going to get out of here? This is so sticky. Such a sticky situation. Oh, oh. Lord went the other way. He Lord went, went the, the other, other way. way. No. <laughs> it needed to go down mid, but it went the other way. And Omanana Evos look good. They might be able to end it here. If yeah. Yasuo needs to get stop them. Man, not like this, man. And that's exactly how it's going to be. And it's going to be Minana with a 1-0 for you. Welcome to MPL Philippines Season 13. Minana Evos have roared louder than the Phoenixes in what was a great game number one in this best of three series. I got I was gripping my seat there in that game, man. What a roller coaster. The only way I can explain this matchup, or at least game one, is a four-hour slog that was directed 